Hey everybody, it's Z here. It's been a while since I posted a video. Um, been working on multiple things, but nothing that's really um, out of the oven yet. So just let me cook a little bit. Um, today I want to talk about the Maple Story Paladin. Okay, do you want to be a warrior class? Do you think Dawn Warrior and Hero are overrated? Although they are OP as hell, I'll give them that. But Paladin allows you to be a support character for other party members. Um, some interesting bossing, some fun bossing, in my uh, personal opinion. And I've been spending a lot of time on my Paladin lately. Um, this video is going to be really quick. I basically just want to point everyone to a guide I've been looking at and I've been reading. Um, I'm going to give credit to or, or at least acknowledge the people that created it in this video, of course. But uh, let's jump over to that and let's take a look at that guide because that's what today is going to be um, all about. Alright, cool. So, this is, in my opinion, the holy grail of Paladin, um, of how to be a Paladin, right? Of how to play this class. As you can see here, it's saying on the, the um, Google Doc or the PDF that I found, it's saying that this was updated in December 2023, so it should be new, should be up to date as far as I know. Um, there's a ton of stuff in here. I've messed around with the Paladin class for quite some time, and I know quite a bit about the class, and I, I was learning a lot from this guide. So I'm sure for people that are new, um, it might even be a little overwhelming. But the good thing is it does explain everything really well. Uh, it talks about weapon choices. It talks about... Um, you know final damage it talks about your ied and your boss attack and and those values and where they should be at and what is important for this class specifically um it talks about um you know your your potentials um what inner abilities you need or what's recommended I play in Reboot now, so they look at that too. Um, the two-handed weapon versus one-handed weapon was something that I've had talks about and wasn't ever really sure, but this explains it really well, um, especially for those of us who are in Reboot. Um, just a great guide overall. This is this is it. I mean, if you're serious about this class and you want it to be your main, or even to utilize um, Paladin's tankiness and make a boss mule for this class, I would 100% recommend that you take a look at this guide. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. What is it? 57 pages or something like that. It goes over nodes. It goes over everything. Um, just amazing guy. Just so well done. And uh, from what I got, I'm not 100% sure who put this together, but um, there's credits here at the end that you could also take a look if you choose to go and look at this. Uh, if you choose to take a look at this guide and, um, you know, utilize it. There's some people on here that you could, you know, reach out to and, and thank or contact if uh, the information here, you know, allows it or if they want to be contacted in the first place. Um, so credits to these guys. It looks like it's a discord of, um, I guess, Paladins, Maple Story fans, players who know the class very well and just kind of sat around and uh, put together this comprehensive guide. Um, oh, there's also one from Mihail too. But yeah, so that's pretty much it today. Um, I want to keep this under five minutes. But check this guide out. If you're interested in this class, Paladin's great. It's a lot of fun. Um, I was on a Dawn Warrior and Shadower and a few other of my mains, and I just went back to this class because I loved it, and it's cool. It's got a unique play style. Um, it's fun to boss with. The Bursting's decent. Overall DPS isn't the highest. It's probably like a mid-range DPS, um, you know, with, with best in slot items and everything like that. So check out Paladin, get on here, check out this guide, and uh, have fun. Catch you guys later.